In this tutorial, we're going to end up taking a look at the action editor for basically controlling the animations that you set up using your armatures. All right, but in an earlier lesson on armatures and bones, I had set up an IK constraint right in here, just like I have on this one. I had added a separate bone. This, this is bone.006, but on bone.004, I have my IK constraint that I got up here through this little menu, and then I targeted this bone.006 is what I wanted in here. So now in pose mode, if I press this and I press G now, now I can control this down to, well in this case I don't control it all the way down because of a setting that I have in here. See I have the chain length down to 4 so it's only going down to that location. I could either go to 5 and it takes it to the end and then when I control it like this I'm controlling it the whole way or I just click on this again and or the default mode of zero is the same as pointing down to the end but you can see what happens when you change it like this it changes the location of what it's going to control all right so I'll leave it like that well that's one way to control it by adding this extra bone in there then you have a control bone and you could you know each one of these you could add a bone instead and use that for controlling it so it doesn't control it you know all the way up the armature like that but there's even another way to do it and so let's do that let us go into edit mode I'm just gonna delete that tab into there suddenly this IKA solver bone thing just doesn't apply anymore alright so I'm gonna get rid of it but let's see there's a, there is an optional way to control it. let's just go to the top bone like this and if you look in the manual under blender this website they they say you can set a, an empty to control it without you don't essentially don't have to create a separate object out here to the side and but I think their manual is either I'm either looking at an old version of the manual or they maybe mistyped it because they say you press control I and you choose to a new empty object but I know control I is for selecting the inverse of vertices in your mesh like we've done before on numerous lessons so it's like so I said oh no way I'll use shift I instead so I'm gonna press shift I and it brings up this add IK and it's like oh okay inverse kinematics and I'll put it to an empty object and so what this does is kinda of like adding that bone and an IK solver like we did it except it just adds this empty and now I can click this empty there I have it now and so now with that selected I'll, I'm back into object mode and I'll select the empty and now I'll press G with the empty selected and now it's essentially like doing the same thing except I'm not in pose mode moving the bone I'm just in regular object mode of the empty moving the armature around like this now let's go see in here let's go back into the bone and notice there is a IK constraint that it was already added and it's got empty but you see there's no bone that you select it's just the empty all by itself all right so it's an alternative way to do it and you can combine these things with other bones that also do controls but we'll leave it like this because really the purpose is we're going to go look at the shape editor real quick and it's really straightforward if you're familiar with the graph editor from my tutorials in that particular playlist this is kind of the same thing I'm going to grab an extra window like this and I'm going to grab the dope sheet instead before we do the graph editor for keyframe animation now I'm going to grab the dope sheet for action editing and here you have to click this dope sheet and you go get the action editor and so what that does it's going to show keyframes but it's going to show keyframes based upon this shape that's being changed here so I'm going to leave this mode and go back in oops I want to leave this and now I'm going to click the empty instead and down here at frame one where I'm located I'm just gonna since this is active I'll press G and I'll just say move it I don't know over to there and I'll click there and then I'm gonna press I and I'm gonna set location rotation scale and this is kinda of just like the graph editor suddenly I've set these scales but you're gonna see what's changing it's the rotations down here for all these guys scale rotation location all these little yellow dots indicate keyframes being set like this so let's go say up to frame 100 or yeah okay 100 and then I'll move this again I'll press G and I'll move it the other direction like that and I'm also going to press I 
and set that. So now I've set keyframes for rotation and it's saying scale. I don't know why it sets it on scale, but I won't worry about that. I'll just, you know, let it decide what it needs to do. Oh, there they all actually they're all set over there. So they say so I'm just showing you how to use the action editor, all right? So so what it does, it allows you to control the animation of the object with the armatures changes so we should be able to just go into here and press alt a and there's your object in motion like this all right so if you wanted to say combine that with maybe the graphing editor well we'll do that with keyframes we'll do that in the next lesson with shape keys all right and i'll see you in the next lesson